functional english effective communication so what is the meaning of effective communication it's a two way process sending the right message and to the right person it is important to know the psychology of the people you are interacting with for communication to be effective for communication to be effective it is necessary to know the circumstances of the counter entity effective communication includes all the aspects of visual auditory and kinesthetic language to appeal the listener uh from all these what do we understand literally we literally understand that effective communication is the communication which produces intended or desired result now uses of effective communication so it helps us to understand a person or situation in a better way it enables us to solve the differences build trust and respect in the organization sometimes our message is misunderstood or we misunderstand the received message so this is sorted out using a uh, effective communication effective communication helps us to connect well with kids spouse boss colleagues etc it also helps in decision making let's see the seven c's for a effective communication what are the seven c's clear concise concrete correct coherent complete and courteous clear make the objective clear so we should avoid complex words or phrases which will complicate the sentence concise keep it clear and to the point avoid filler words and sentences so if we avoid extra words then that itself will communicate uh, help us to communicate properly concrete be specific not vague use facts and figures to support your message correct for correctness try to avoid typos use correct facts and figures use the right level of language coherent does your message make sense ensure it flows logically avoid covering too much complete does the message contain everything it needs to include a call to action courteous being polite builds goodwill ensure that your message is tactful so all these seven c's helps in improving our communication barriers to effective communication when there is some positive there is also some few negative things which will affect the communication so now let's see the negative things or the barriers which affect the communication perpetual barriers emotional barriers language barriers cultural barriers physical barriers and overcoming communication barriers how to overcome these barriers these are what we are going to see under this topic so perpetual barrier the differences in opinion and varied perceptions between people give rise to the need for effective communication emotional barriers the fear and mistrust stop us from communicating effectively with our coworkers not only coworkers even with our family and friends language barriers language that describes what we would want to express and communicate to others serve as a barrier to them cultural barrier this arises when two individuals in an organization belong to different religions states or countries if they interact together there might arise some cultural barrier so hierarchy in the organization forbids team members from effective interaction with each other so this causes physical barriers so now how to overcome these communication barriers language and physical barriers can be overcome by training employees on the language and also training managers supervisors and heads on dealing effectively with their subordinates let's see few more ideas on how to overcome communication barriers seek first to understand the message listen actively be sensitive to body language use appropriate language 
use the right communication channel be honest and sincere obtain the feedback this will help you to overcome the communication barriers and the receiver will receive whatever is sent in 100% purity so with this we conclude that effective communication happens when the sender is connecting with the audience properly with simple words body language that is smile eye contact gestures and tone cultural sensitivity checking for understanding seeking participation effective questions summarizing what has been said if all these are followed properly by the communicating person then the effective communication is attained thank you